Hi there. Um, what we're going to be doing here is constructing a perpendicular line, uh, a perpendicular line to the line we've got on the page, but it has to go through A. Um, so what we're going to need to do is draw a line perpendicular. We're going to have to give our line a name. I'm going to call it PQ. Draw a line perpendicular to PQ that passes through A. So that's what we're going to try and achieve. Um, if you've seen a perpendicular bisector, what we're going to do is use the compass to create a situ situation similar to that. And to do that, I'm going to place my point in A. Extend the compass out, no particular length at this point. What I want to do is I want to extend it far enough that it will cross over PQ. I'm going to make it a little bit wider just to make sure it does that a couple of times. And so it crosses over there. And if we go around a bit further, crosses over there. Okay, so now that I've created basically two points where a line going perpendicular to the line through A would actually be the midpoint. And then all we do is uh, just turn this around so it's the right way up. And then we repeat the process that we would do for a perpendicular bisector. So we extend this out so it's definitely over halfway. And I'm going to put in my first arc there. And it's going to be one on the other side as well. Um, Moving over to the second point, put in our arc there so it crosses the first one and similarly, if I just rotate it round, we get to our second point there. As you can see my two arcs have now crossed each other and what we get is a line if I join these two points up, they create a perpendicular line to PQ and they go through A. Now there's no way you remember that unless you practice it yourself. So get yourself a line, draw a random point away from it and see if you can produce this process and get yourself a perpendicular line that passes through a point and is perpendicular to the line you've already drawn. Best of luck.